Okay, so following on from the previous video where we talked about um, predecessor tables, um, what we're looking at is dummy activities. So we, we, we're going to learn th through a dummy activity through just like the uh, predecessor table by itself. And then I'll talk a little bit about how that works into critical path. And when we do some critical path questions later, we'll see what happens with the, the um, how it impacts on you know, developing a critical path. Now, what I'm going to look at here is this bit here. And the reason I'm looking at that it's just a little summary of what's going on because then it relates to this table here and we'll talk about what we're actually going on. So in this processor table, we can see activity D and E, that's these two activities, both have a, a predecessor name B. Um, but they also have another predecessor, D has A and B has E. And what I'm going to actually do is start acting like we've done before. We'd have, like, as in, let's draw a table here. We've got A, B, C. So let's put A, B, C. So it's, it's similar. It's the same as what we've got there as it is. But what we're going to do is let's actually, let's actually erase that B and we're going to write it as if for the moment that we know it connects to D. Just for the sake of argument, I'm going to go like that. And we meet here. I'm going to, I'm going to say that's B. So, because we know D is going to come off there and we go, yep, that's cool. Now, the reason you need a dummy activity, basically, is that, you know, I've got A and B coming up here because I know D comes off it. But E comes off C, but it also needs to come off B. So, so, where, so the question is, how can I connect A to, to uh, sorry, how can I connect, have B so it connects to D? like so it connects to A up here so D can move forward or at the same time you know finish at the same time as C here and so um, E can move forward you can't do it you can't do it like as we've shown in this sort of format as we've done previously in, in the previous video okay so let's get rid of that for the moment so what you end up doing is you put what, what we call a dummy activity and they're shown it um, like this here it's usually a dot 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 Usually you're going to have, I'm going to zoom in for a sec, it'd be written like D1, comma, and that's a one, because because we're going to have two of them in a moment, and comma, and saying zero. The zero, it comes later on because it's a, it doesn't add any time, it's just a connector, basically. We actually have it there as basically a connection point. All right, so what it ends up looking like here is the dummy, it's saying, so it's what it's basically saying is, B allows that, so that's still B there for this one, if you want to call it, we'll call it little B, but it's still connecting B up to here. So it means at this point, activity A and B have finished. Okay? And therefore, D can move forward. All right? And then we do, we go along B again, but in this time we're going down to here. So we get to this point, we're saying C and D have finished. Okay. And therefore, E can move forward. And that's basically the dummy activity. It, it's, it's, and this is still part of B. Now it's, we call it B, we, can, we probably call this one B2 and this one B1. And that's just signified that, you know, it's still B, but it's connecting through there. And that's how we, that's that's how and when we use um, these you know thing called dummy activities. Now another teacher may show me a good way to remember this, and I hadn't sort of seen this before until recently. So it's a it's a nice way to remember it. We what we say is the where the dummy activity is going to be is E has repeated um, and has a different partner. As you can see, I've got E here, and um, do you want that coming up? And E here. So the fact that there's nobody here, it's like he's lonely here. Or she, he or she is lonely here, or they're lonely here. But here they have a partner. Okay? So we're saying to have, it's like, you know, it's almost like, you know, has two relationship statuses at one point. One it's got a partner, one it doesn't. In the question we add here, this person has, in this, using that as an analogy, has 
two relationships going on there. Okay. Um, if you want to look like that, but it has a different partner. So in this case, B has a partner of A there, but has a partner C there. So they've got two different partners. Now, the fact that they're connected like that is, is means it's going to have um, the, the dotted line that I showed before. And that's showing that sort of dummy. That's going to be that dummy part. And that the fact that there's a knee there would suggest it's a solid. Okay. So let's have a look at this one. I know there's a, we've got the drawing already put there, but let's actually work it through to see what I mean. All right. So we've got, what we're going to do is we're going to say A, B. So let's draw it. And we'll put our things there. A, B. Sorry for the really bad drawings. From C, it just needs activity A. So I'm just going to put a C. And we get to D, it needs uh, from comes from activity B. So I put a lovely D here. E needs C and D. Okay. So in this case, as you can see here, C, C. So that's saying C has a different partner because it's got a partner of D and no partner. So it has two different partners using my analogy before. Okay. So that's where my dummy is going to be. And this is where my dummy has to be for E, okay? Because it needs to connect from C. So I'm going to go dot, 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 arrow down. And from there, I'm going to have E coming up. And from C, if look, you're going to have CF. I'll draw a F here. And then as we can see, G needs E and F. Oh, that's a finish here, sorry. And that's how we've got... Our dummy so we've got our dummy activity here all right and it matches up but i mean that's and i was doing that without looking at the answer okay and here's an example um this was a predecessor you know this is saying from this write a predecessor table and you can see here as an example that in this case if i just looked at these two there'd be no dummy activity because it just says D and C, there's no different partners. But where it's different is this, and therefore um, these two are different. So C is the one where you're going to have, as it's coming off here, all right? That's where you're going to have, and it's that connection there, that C to D, which is D and C, that's these two, is where you're going to have the dotted lines, okay? And the C by itself, where E comes off it, that's where it has a solid line. Okay, that's that process of going through um, uh, dummy activities. Okay, thank you.